Hello guys, my name is Victor and this is Cryptica. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate your time, all fresh and interesting crypto news on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel. My Telegram channel a lot of private signals absolutely for free. I'll put my Telegram channel in the descriptions below. China says it has closed OK tech changes, but traders miners may still be active. The Chinese Central Bank, the People's Bank of China, says that all crypto exchanges and peer-to-peer -peer trading platforms have now been closed down on the mainland. But it appears the authorities are still uh, fighting an ongoing struggle against crypto mining with many advocates uh, for to have taken the operations underground. Lanjing reported that the PBOC has released its final quarterly report for the financial year 2021 where it made a number of claims about the success of its crypto crackdown enacted in September last year. It claimed that in a bid to uh, restify financial house, it had severely cracked down on illegal and financial criminal activities. The PBOC claimed that it had done away with unlicensed internet-based asset management institutions and unclean, uh, un unlicensed payment institutions in addition to equity crowdfunding platforms. All forms of P2P online lending platforms, including crypto-related platforms, have case operating it added. Furthermore, the bank reports authors claimed domestic virtual currency trading and tokens issuance financing platforms had been shut down while overseas crypto and forex trading platform access has also been blocked. So the bank claimed that its measures had helped it reduce the risk of shadow banking and remove it unhealthy forms of uncertainty from the economy, but stamping out crypto in a nation that was once the sector center of gravity is providing to be tricky. Pair GVI data completed in 2018 is staging 31% of Chinese net users use virtual private networks VPN back then while the more recent data is not available. And while the authorities have attempted to stamp out VPN usage by uh, feeding users almost uh, USD 150 for making use of the software, comments made by an athlete at the Winter Olympics in Beijing appear to indicate that VPN usage is very alive and well in the Middle Kingdom. The remarks were, were made by the American-born Chinese air freestyle skin gold medalist Alien Gu, who claimed on social media protocol reported that anyone can download a VPN in China. The post appears to have been censored or deleted, indicating that VPNs are still a store, store point of Chinese cyber police. Although crypto trading has become Harder than ever, many Chinese Bitcoin enthusiasts are for to remain active in the market using VPNs and stablecoins like Teaser as a getaway. Over the counter, uh, trading is also for to be alive and well. And despite claims to have eliminated crypto mining, it seems that the fight to purge the nation of miners is still far from over. CLC reported the Gutai Junan Securities, one of Chinese biggest securities firms, has recently issued a notice warning its employees that they will face punishment if they mine crypto. State organs noted last year that a whopping 21% of illegal post crackdown crypto mining in China has been tracked back to publicity. publicity uh, of net firms and offices. 
The media outlet published a copy of an international notice from the securities firm which warned employees are strictly prohibited from participating in virtual currency mining activities in any form. Employees are also required to pay attention to the security of personal office computers to prevent them from becoming infected with crypto mining resources. Meanwhile, in an official post, the city of Hinjou in Shanxi province announced that it had set up a reporting network for residents to anonymously tip off police about suspected crypto mining activities in the neighborhoods. So China again make it and make again restrictions about crypto actually it, it is will be closed all exchanges it will be a disaster you know what I mean so Bitcoin now 44,222 dollars plus almost 1% Ethereum plus 3% 3,149 dollars and market in a green light second day in a row it's average about 1 to 15 percent in the pay it depends on coin so guys don't forget to subscribe to my telegram channel my telegram channel a lot of private signals absolutely for free actually yesterday was give one private signal about solana and how you can see solana if they broke out 105 dollars resistance level we go up so guys, don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel, my Telegram channel, a lot of private signals absolutely for free, just go and check it out, thank you guys for watching and bye bye.